taking the wifey's car. We gotta drive it so I can reset the monitors. And put some gas. This is on empty. Maybe a car wash. Am I nice? Shaking a lot. Took out the tire. Figure out it was fucked. I think it's hitting the strut. Luckily, I have another one. So let's put it on. Hopefully, it doesn't happen again. Okay, today I'm working on my girl's car. This is her 01 Toyota Celica GTS. Yes, it's actually a stick shift. A few little mods that she got. Like the sports lid. O3 tail lights. She actually did the O3 conversion on this by herself without my help. Yes, she knows how to turn wrenches and get her hands dirty. Uh, she did start a YouTube channel. I'll write down a, a link of hers. I believe it's Miss Papoosh. Uh, a few mods that she's done. She has a short ram there. Um, she has an exhaust. Right now we're gonna do the HIDs on it. This one's not wired up but we're gonna wire it up and swap this OEM one. And this is hers. She also has a broken tabs on it, which we're gonna put some new tabs on it. But this is it. She also has JDM side markers. O3 front with the Honda lip from Civic. The high beam and the low beam are all in one plug. On the OEMs, you have a high beam, low beam plug. So you have two plugs. In this one, it comes with two, with one. The other one comes with two. So we made a little conversion of it. So you do, you do need the piggyback for the other one, which is this one for the HID. And like I said, on the OEM, you have a high beam and the low beam. And I made my own plug, my own wire harness from eBay. These are from eBay. I'll put a link below of the parts I bought. Basically, you just buy the female for this one and then the male for this one. And then, yeah, I did a shitty job on it. I didn't solder this like you're supposed to or clipped it i just did the old-fashioned way of twist and black tape but this is it this one right here we're not gonna work on it right now but this is actually your leveler um hers doesn't didn't came with the switch so we're in the process of getting one just in case she wants one i'm gonna do it on mine so later on i'll post a video of how to wire it um, I already done it on my friend's car, Esvin. But I don't have all the parts to do it on my car yet. But I do have a plug piggyback, so that's one less thing to buy. As you can see, this is very common on the Celicas where the tab breaks off and we bought new ones from Toyota. I believe they're $20 each one. Luckily, we got a little discount and we were able to get them for 15 bucks each one. Um, and this, these are the part numbers. I'll post it up. 
below on the bio just in case you didn't get that so I'm taking off the headlights we have one bow right here another bow right here and this one right here you gotta take out the bumper uh, they're all size 10s usually on my cars I never connect this one I only have these two makes it easier to take off the headlight or bolts when you need to replace them but on these HIDs you're it's harder so <laughs> big slices that's how you cut the cake it's cold as hell I show and tell Weez at home I nigga out of jail in this give or take world I got what it takes put you out your misery I didn't put it on, it wasn't important. All you need is really the turning signals and your high beams and your low beams. So, with this plug, this wiring harness, it's easy. Just plug and play. So, this plugs in there, and this is gonna connect. Let me take out the tape. So you guys can see, I ended up taping it up on the other one. Reason being is because I don't want to have a short somewhere and catching this my car on fire. But I don't want to be liable for my girl's car and get blamed and not have to get her a new car or fix it. So. After this, it's just a plug and play. So this is the male, and this is the female. Um, for hers, and this is the other one. <clears throat> you see how I don't like this one? Because this one is just, could come off because it doesn't have no clip. <clears throat> That's why I ended up taping it up, which I'm gonna do this one also. And before I even put it in, I'm going to test fit it right now. The only thing I hate about the HIDs is this, this becomes bulky, so it's harder to put, it, put in. But I'm going to test them out. Hopefully it'll work. It should. There you go. Difference between a high beam HID or low beam HID to your regular non HID. And let me try on the high beams. I'm cash money. If we could buy time, I spend my last money. Now I'm spending time. You in the blind. This little light of mine, I'ma let it shine. Bright lights, night lights, headlights. No lights, but the infrared lights. Yeah, long life, don't like. This ends up going like this. And I think we could. No. We're gonna need to break that off. So, there it goes. Put the new tab on it. I think I cut a little bit more than I was supposed to. You see a little gap right there. Uh, I used a little saw to cut it off. You can see this is a little piece that was getting away for this one. So, there it is. My girl's gonna do the other headlight for her YouTube channel. If you like what you guys see, please like and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.
come out. 